Amen. The whole island better run for your life. That's right. You should make the preachers. Amen. Condemn the people. Go ahead. Jamaica, Amen. the whole island, Amen. better run for your life. That's right. You Jamaican preachers, Amen. condemn the people. Go ahead. Blessed love, pleasant good evening, good afternoon, warm welcome, mindset program. I just am your host. I want to greet the item in the divine name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Eel Selassie I the First. Yes, beautiful viewers and subscribers, warm welcome. One more day above ground, and we're giving thanks and praise for life. Um, the journey continues where it concerns um, so called. Um, church in Mobile, Jamaica, and um, the cult pastor, Zane. Um, we have some late, late you know, some little developments and thing, and we want to share it with the item, Zane. Yeah, because I know some people still are defend this virgin after everything that took place. It's amazing, you know what I mean? Yeah, some people are loyal and, you know, very diarted. To this virgin here. Selassie, I know. So we have some voice note where we are going to drop in a moment and we also have a virgin I tell we how him ex escape, you know what I mean, from the old church, yeah, for save him life. So yeah, we have that coming up. We also have um, a woman, we are going to see the pastor, um, Ark and, 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 and two in her face, you see me, I say so. Um, we are gonna show the item these things and um just stay tuned because me I tell you the thing no look normal at all. You know, the, them say fire there must must steal and you think a cool breeze and right now the fire is getting real hot. Real hot, yeah, because things are coming to light and you know, it does show you how the you know, even the mind of the people them, how the, 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 the people them operate. So alright, make we go in at this thing yeah, because um the virgin spit in a woman's face and, you know what I mean, I don't know, but it, it don't look good. You see me, I say? It don't look good. So here goes. Listen, lady, you don't come for the power. No. Don't leave left it. We want to see. We want to see. Yeah. We want to see Jesus. Hey. Blood of Jesus. See. The blood of Jesus. So you see him spitting at the first lady their face. You see me I say? I watch her wipe her face. Watch her. She wipe her face, you know. Yeah? Just look on this thing. Yeah, cause him spitting a one woman face first. You see, she wipe her face. Yeah, she hold her face and I wipe it because you know some things go in her eye and look there. She have fear, you know, she have wipe her face blood. You know, it's serious and um, these things are what is taking place. I don't know if there's some miracle working, um, something that did that take place a while ago, but, um, you know, that can't look good, you know, that no look decent, that don't look hygienic at all. You see me, I say, and good standard of um, practice when I say none of that right there, sir. You see me, I say, wow, wow, seriously? Imagine if it was now, you know? Imagine if that was now in you know, this COVID thing, you know, you know, it would that would you know it sure catch it for real. Watch there. I try him spitting at the woman face, man. Look on the woman now. Wow. Woman rush him serious, you know. You see me I say? Rush him serious because how can you spit in my face like that and you know what I mean? Who's you to do something like that? You know? Wow. Oh man, rush him, serious. Serious, 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 serious. And the more we say the devil that knowing of the woman, you know. 
You can't tell them nothing. You know, that them are saying, or the devil, or the devil that in the woman. Boy, yo, I tell you, it, 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 it. Oh, the people, them, people, them, people, them, terrible, man. People, them, terrible, 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 terrible. Terrible, terrible, my people. Terrible, terrible, something that. You know what I mean? Terrible, something that. Look how I'm spitting at the woman's face, man. Yo. But, yo, you know, sir, all the police, them are defending him. You know what I mean? Police, them are leading him out on him birthday, they sir. You know? Big and serious. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's serious, I don't know, but you know, you're spitting a woman face. Yo. Mm -mm. I have some people that go come and say, yo, leave the church alone or leave the But come on, this is what the church is getting up to, yeah. You see me, sir? That is what the church is getting up to, you know. And remember, you know, a police a police entangled with the whole of, um everything that um took place on the night there, you know, because we say police are fire back at police, you know. That is how serious the thing was, you know. You see me, I say? That is how serious the thing was. That is, you see, the man have, yo, the man have the police, their mind that them can fire back at them own self, you know, yo. Serious thing, man, serious thing. The police, them. Yeah, see them, they are leading them out big and serious, you see? <laughs> yeah, you best believe it. Yeah, so the thing, the thing, um, the thing, the thing no normal, but um, we have a voice note here, so I could go in it straight away because you know we're not go, we not go itch with it. You see me, I say, yeah, we're not go itch with it. So I could go in it and hear what the woman I say. Good morning, Miss Reed. Good morning. Me all right. Me not not wrong with me. Me all right. But now listen, everything you hear and uh, and believe because sometimes people run with the wrong story and people say the wrong things and people accuse people wrongfully. But what me I'm saying is that we have no answer for what take place. I was there part of in the last part in the evening what happened. But all I know is I see mystery and I see God in action. What I witness. How can you stand sit on one place and one soldier and police military one hundred gunshot go at you one time and not one shot touch the man of God? That is mystery. That's all we have to say. What happened? Is it is not spiritual. It is a demonic attack from some maroon people. When when care come the Saturday night, we can't explain to you, but we talk to you. Listen to what you hear, but and everything you have to swallow and, and accept. But me all right still, me good. We get paper for go a court for breach a curfew act. We were taken to jail. We treated like a king and queen down there. Some of the guys them that was inside and so His Excellency still there. But just pray for him. I saw them do Jesus and he may come out victorious. So we have to suffer with him and reign with him. Now, so I go, Christ. Miss Reed, me and your friend, but you can't you can tell me what to do with my life and how to live my life. And I said, so Jesus, when you have 12 disciples, then betray him and then turn them back upon him. You can't tell me if you turn my back upon my bishop because I him seeing one when deliver you find your bleeding where you ain't come out there with the bleed like a cow and you they go to church too much here and he never deliver. And I him deliver you, so you can't say that. So you can't tell me what to do with my life and how who me you believe in like you don't know what take place. Sorry. Fifi, fi, fi, this disappoint you, but I'm so sorry. Goodbye. Of course, I'm good. I'm good because I'm alive and well, and God is able to carry you. But you don't tell me, or you cannot, you can't answer for me, or you cannot stand before God for me. So, allow me if you make my decision. Me thank you for your concern, but maybe the concern you have is not a good concern and is not a good advice. So, therefore, me know, me know why you're sorry for me. I mean, I want you tell me what you believe in or who you believe in or who you trust. Because every man has to stand before God and give account for their own sin and their own judgment. So you can't be a judge, neither for me, for Bishop, nor nobody. So therefore, work your own salvation out with fear and trembling and leave God people alone and mind your own business. That's all me have to say. Because the Bible teach you and say, Touch not the Lord and I tell you in profit no harm. And if you if you don't know and understand, you leave it alone because you need this world, but you know, still don't understand the world you know, you live in. So therefore you need if you go down prayer and you ask God to open your eyes and we soon see what takes place. May I tell you, you hear how the woman attack, the woman well serious to you know. Yeah, the woman say she not betray him because I see him so them did betray Jesus. And she now betray fear her pastor. Wow, serious thing, you know. And on top of that, the woman say, yo, we should them not them not have no answer to what took place on the night. You see me, I say? But all she knows, say, she see some gunshot of fire at the pastor and none of them not touch the pastor. So she don't really know what took place. 
And she also I get involved um, the maroons. I say boy, yeah, the maroon them um, do something. You see me? I say, it, 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 I don't know. It look away. It sound away. It sound. <laughs> it sound. It sound away. But people seriously, it sound away. Yeah, we don't know about it. It. But listen, this here, cause um, yeah, you have an ex virgin who um say him have to run for take away himself serious. You know what I mean? Yeah, him have to take away himself. So I could hear what him have to say. And um, yeah. Sucked into that hope, how, how could people be involved in an organization like this? This is an organization, though, that you were a part of for a while. So, how did you get involved? All right, so, oh, I basically that invited was, um, you know, I left to work some time ago in, back in 2012, and I had a female friend. And, um, you know, saw her on the lane. She said that she was heading to church and she invited me. And that's basically how I um, ended up being there. So how, how did you end up staying? All right. So um, how I ended up staying at the time as well, I was basically trying to find a place of worship. Right. I, I used to have dialogue with my parents saying that, you know, um, you know, I want better for myself. I wanted a better life, right? Which was to, to me at the time, basically is choosing God, you know, having a church, going to church and just trying to, you know, live a good life. How old were you at the time? I, at that time, I was 17 years of age. One of the things that psychologists, what one psychologist we interviewed has said that a lot of people join organizations like this because they, they, they want a family. They, they feel a need to belong. Did that play any role in your, your staying with the church? Um, you would say in a sense, because coming where, where I'm coming from, right, you would classify it as the inner city, right? Um, so growing up, you know, you're used to seeing a little bit of um, violence here and there. Right. Um, you, you wake up, you go outside, you see, you know, youths out there rubbing out their hand middle, stuff like those. You understand? And and um wanting better, you know, choosing to basically be in church was was like a way out. Yes. And how everything transpired basically it came off on uh you would say a positive light, so to speak. Yes. Um, it came off as, um, you know, you being there, it's it's an inspiration. It's a way to literally make your life a bit better. It, sound, it sounds like a sanctuary, like it was a, a, a right. peaceful, an, an oasis away from your daily life. Right, right. It was, it was, it was just like a regular, um, you know, Sunday church. Was there anything at all that that raised concerns for you because you say it was like a regular church but we're now hearing these stories that don't sound like a regular church so was there anything initially that sent up a red flag for you all right so over time yes over time um being there things started to get uh a bit um you'd say manipulative right um being there I started to, to, to see things that, you know, aren't really acceptable for me. Um, and, and that, for, for one, was, was some red, uh, red flags, you, you would say. And um, it's like you couldn't really say anything to the, to the members, so to speak, because, you know, if you say anything uh, to any other members, so to speak, they would basically, you know, probably chastise you or, of course, um, you know, kick you out of the church. And mind you, once you leave the church, everybody and them dog basically turn them back against you. You're like, no, enemy number one. Let me start with the fact that you said things started to get manipulative. Tell me what you meant by that. All right. So I was amongst uh, several of the young men that was living at the location, right? Um... No, to to the church, it was basically uh, him assisting us. No, yes, 
some persons were being assisted with, um, you know, financially going back to school, um, helping out, uh, getting jobs in the church, right? Um, that kind of assistance. No, over time, you want your personal freedom. You want you, you want to do your personality. You want to go out, have fun as a, as a young man. You know, you, you are being limited from that, you know, drastically. So, you know, that was um, where you would say the manipulation would come from, uh, where that is concerned, from my experience. Tell me, um, tell me what you mean when you said you were limited, your freedom was limited. All right, so you want to go, for example, you want to go hang out with some friends. You want to probably go to the movies, um, you know, stuff like that. And you, you, you would have to ask permission to go. Um, and probably more likely, he's going to prevent you from basically going. But you weren't, you, you were living on the compound or, or off? No, I was living, uh, we were living at his, there, it was a seven bedroom house at the time. Okay, you said we, who is we? Uh, so we, there was several um, members, several males right, that were, were, were living there. So basically it was like a, you would say, a foster father type of um, scenario. Okay. So what were you, what were their duties, for instance, that you were required to do? One of the things we've heard is that the young men around him used to do a lot for him. Okay. All right. Some of the things um, would have been, one, assisting with, 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 with church duties, right? Um, getting stuff prepared uh, for church, um, you know, cleaning the church, um, Packing up the stuff that you would need to basically uh, bring to the church. And, um, you know, those are some of the fundamental stuff. What about personal duties for him? You know, whether assisting him or carrying stuff or we, we've seen photos with people, somebody holding an umbrella over his head or several of those. Okay. All right, so yes, um, I'm aware of those situations as well. So uh, persons would have, you know, walk, being on the road with him, you know, persons would, you know, walk, uh, have the umbrellas, um, you know, carry his backpack. Um, uh, I personally as well used to um, sometimes sort out, uh, you know, finances of the, the ministry as well um, because I was basically, you know, um, there. Some of that, though, sounds like stuff that maybe you would find in any organization with, you know, with a hierarchy, with a senior and with junior people. I mean, junior lawyers, for instance, carry the bags of their seniors, ju just to give an example. So was there anything that actually made you say, hold on, something not right? Because you, used the, you earlier said some things are not acceptable. All right. Um, all right. So there are instances, right, where the the, the males of the institution, right, uh, at the at the at the at the church, he would have, you know, oftentimes tried to poison our minds against the females that are there, right, um, saying that you know if you leave woman alone, um, you know. Uh, stuff like those. What would you say was his and the church's general attitude to women? Ooh, um, how would I say no? Um, it, it, it was neutral. In one sense, it was neutral. Um, you know, other than the young men, other than him telling the young men, you know, leave X alone, leave Y alone, and then at the end of the day, you know, infiltrate our minds saying that, hey, you know, the girl that which still to the family day, you know, that type of um, scenario. And that would be about women who are actually in the organization? Right. Would you say then that he was controlling? Right. Yeah. All right, let me ask you to hold on. We're just going to take a break, do a little bit of business, and we'll come back. We're talking to a young man. We're calling David. That's not his real name. He was a member 
of the church, the organization that's been in the news so much over the past few days, and we'll be back in just a moment. All right, now, just before the break, David, you were saying you agreed when I asked you if you would describe it as, as describe the past as controlling, and, and you agreed with that, that, that adjective, that description. How else did that controlling manner play out? I'm sorry, could you repeat the, repeat the question? What else did he do that you would describe as controlling? All right. Um, so outside of that, as I was, I was, it's, I was, as I was expressing, you know, you, you, you know, you're, you're, you were limited. You basically couldn't do the things that you want to do. Life was about just going to church, basically. Right. Um, you, you couldn't do anything. So if you work, the probably the only thing that you can do is probably go work, come back home. And, and, and that's it, you know, for us. You said you were 17. Were you working at the time or in school? Um, I was working at the time. So what's, what would be the arrangements with the money you earn, for instance? Do you get to keep it? Do you have to hand over some of it? Uh, how, how did that work? Uh, no. So primarily I was working, I was working at the, the church, oh. right? I, yeah, I, I was offered a job there and, um, I was working at the church. So you were, so what was the salary arrangement? Did you get one? Uh, yeah, the salary, I think at the time we were getting, you know, a basic minimum wage, so to speak. All right. So it wasn't a whole heap of money. No. So generally, what was the what was the arrangement for finances in the institution? We've heard that people would have to hand over a certain amount, or in other organizations, we've heard that people sign over property. What what happened in this institution? All right. Um, what I'm aware of is basically regular. Uh, um, well, they have like pretty much depending on the nature of the service. Uh, you have like different um, offering service. So you basically start off with a um, uh, $100 seed, uh, then you have a $1,000 seed. Then after that, you would have a regular uh, church offering and tithes uh, six, six segment. Then after that, um, you would have no, you know, when the, when the, when the, when the pastor, whomever finish preaches, you, you, it, it's called making covenant with the word. Um, offering where, you know, you just randomly or, you know, if requested, you go up and, you know, throw another form of seed um, relatively. So in a night or, you know, any given night, basically, you 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 would say it would have been like four uh, different offering that was given in any given night. And with a lot of money coming from, from that? Pretty much. Wow, like how much, sir? Um, rarely it would, on, a, on, a, on a average, at any given night, you can make over $150,000. Okay. And how many nights a week was service? It was on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, both morning and afternoon. Two services for each of those days? On a Sunday. On a Sunday, okay. And on each service, you would have four collections? Uh, yeah, depending okay. on the nature of the service. Okay, mm. all right. So you, you, said, you, you said, you know, initially you were fine with it, but then later you started, you said to, to feel uncomfortable and you described the restrictions on your freedom. How were, mm -hmm. what, was there anything else? How were people in the church treated? I've seen where people, right, their own birth parents, basically, they turn their mind against their own birth parent. You can imagine that. So seeing things like those and, and as well being told not to visit my, my family um, because, you know, I'm going to die or this or that, you know. Um, those are some of the things that would basically, you, you would have heard on a, on, a, on a regular basis uh, where that is concerned. And that of itself basically would have, 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 have um, put you into fear. You, you said people could be turned against their birth parents. How, how would that happen? 
All right, so one primarily you would call you a witch, right? So no, no, mind you, you see the teachings that um is, are are given at the at the church, right? Once 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 you're deemed as a witch to him, the entire church is against you, basically, right? It's like there's no redemption, right? So no, you as a you as a person probably have no idea what what is happening but you know you are told you're a witch and that of itself just you know automatically just turn the people in mind against you so i've seen where a, 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 a son and a daughter heard that their mom their mom their mother is a witch and entirely you know turn their back on their parent their own blood parent would, you know, these, would, that, these, would these parents be parents who are in the church or, or not, they, or outside? They, they, they were a part of the church. What I'm trying to understand, though, these are, I'm trying to understand, would these be parents who are, because you said these could be people who are in the church, the parents who are being called mm -hmm. witches or whatever. So how would they mm -hmm. be allowed to, be re to remain in the organization if they're viewed so negatively? If he has said that uh, you're a witch. Would you be, All right, so would once, be then kicked out or they're allowed to stay? All right. So once you're deemed, once you're ever deemed a witch in the in the in the ministry, you you you're, you're out of that place. No, you said that you were being told not to visit your your relatives because you would die. So mm -hmm. when, when you first heard that, what was your reaction? All right. So when I first heard that, um, it it would it, it is now coming from a spiritual perspective, right? Spiritual perspective meaning no. On average, at that at that ministry, you no, know, you the nature of the ministry is way different than any other ministry that I've ever witnessed and seen. So you have deliverance services, and deliverance services happen probably every other night or every night sucked into that hope how, how, how could people be involved in an organization like this this is an organization though that yeah, you were a part people, of for sir. a while you know so I mean? it's serious yeah it's real serious yeah real serious so um the virgin Eva said boy yeah turn your mind against your parents you know that is how uh, mind control in the virgin is you know it is a uh, serious thing my people but um we are gonna drop the um the link in the comment section so the item could hear probably the rest of um, that conversation. All right. So we want to say manners and respect, peace and love, give thanks to the item, patient listening and rapid attention. You see me, I say? Yes, I, manners and respect. We want the item check out um, our t shirts online. Zin, check them out online at teespring.com. Manners and respect, peace and love. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Rastafari.